Rip, 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 rip it up. What's up, people? Welcome back to Crash Flow. And uh, it's another beautiful day here in New York City. Summer blues, so it's on. Um, I just woke up. Hair is kind of crazy. And I'm about to go get some breakfast. But I wanted to talk about how to survive in New York City because, especially as a skater or anybody really, but a lot of people move here from all around the world trying to make it. You know, I came here when I was a kid. I was born in Boston, but I've been coming here since I was 12 years old. And I used to sleep on the streets some nights. I had no money. I come here. With, I would come here with 20 bucks and try to figure it out. I had a lot of friends that would look out for me or just meet skater kids. But I think a lot of kids travel here from all around the world trying to make it, trying to figure it out. So I wanted to do how to survive in New York City with 20 bucks. Boom. And I could do it under 10, but I would say 20, you know, for now, for today, because they did a survey that most New Yorkers spend 20 bucks as soon as they leave their house. I mean, with traveling and getting around, it's hard. So there's a couple cool spots I want to show you guys. If you've never been to New York, you can save a little, a little change on some spots and uh, get around. There's the first spot, little fruit stand right here. I'm on First Avenue and 6th Street. And there's usually a fruit stand probably around any 20 blocks or, you know, every, every 30 blocks you could probably find one. But they're mainly in the villages. And there's less and less. So you want to find a good fruit stand like this. This one's great. Good prices. You could get a couple Cheese, bananas. Avocados. Two for five. You can get one of those. A couple of oranges. Your usual fruit stand stuff. You know what I mean? Can't go wrong. Not a bad breakfast if you're gonna start out the day and you only got a couple bucks. Okay, let me get one banana, uh -huh. or four bananas, uh -huh. and two apples. So I'm gonna take four bananas and two apples. How okay. much is that? Okay. Give me two dollars. Two dollars, four bananas, two apples. There you go, that's a great breakfast. A lot of sugar, but it'll get you going in the morning. All right, so that's a dollar and change, and 18 dollars change, there you go. All right, just shower it up. Had some apples and oranges and the big apple. Time to go rip, 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 rip. I just cruise LES Park with my buddy Jiro. Gonna keep it moving. Probably get some lunch. Right, here we are at the famous Punjabi. I grew up going to this spot. Legendary Indian food spot on Houston. Basically, basically Houston and Ludlow, where the old Max Fish used to be when I first came to the city. Um, used to be able to get $2 plates and $4 plates. The $2 plates were like good snack meals. And a $4 was like a full, full blown meal, rice and peas you know, all, con all kind of different choices. I believe that they don't really like cameras inside. I know their culture is sensitive about cameras and filming, so I don't want to bring the camera in, but I also think the prices got jacked up a little bit because times have changed. It's a different place nowadays. A lot of people live in New York. It's a little itty bitty spot right here. Punjabi, the old school spot. They got it all. All the photos on the wall. Hey, 
Damn, I should have got a photo on the wall for all the, all the food I had here. <laughs> Let me get a one, two, and a four. Lentils, chickpeas, spinach. But the prices went up, man. Seven dollar plate. That's what I'm getting. All right, so I got a seven dollar plate. Some times have changed, but uh, it's still good food. It's still cheap. As you can see, that's a good amount of food. That's a big plate. It's a big lunch you can get for seven bucks. All right, let's keep rolling around. Maybe we can find a couple more spots I can show you guys. All right, making a quick pit stop right here at the dumpling spot right behind me. It's a homemade dumpling spot on Essex and Hester. And some of the cheapest dumplings you can get that I know. Um, there's a lot of spots around Chinatown, so I suggest trying them. They're not all bad, but you gotta be a little careful here because sometimes they just whip together random stuff in Chinatown. But these places, this is legit. And you can get veggie dumplings if you're vegetarian, and they're really cheap. There used to be Vanessa's down on Eldridge, but they jacked the prices up, so I recommend here is a little cheaper. But another thing I forgot to say earlier is that everything I'm showing you is in Manhattan, so we're gonna hit the Manhattan spots. This is just one spot I go to. I'm good right now till dinner though, we're gonna eat later. Also, another thing I want people to know is that, you know, almost any deli in New York usually can get cheap sandwiches, you know, 99 cent menus, all that. So, always recommend a good deli for a good snack. Hence the word quarter snacks and skateboarding. You know, and uh, my man Stephen Kyle's snacks, you know. All the delis in Manhattan, the, the prices are jacked up, but if you go to any other boroughs, you could probably get a ham, egg, and cheese or a bacon, egg, and cheese for three to five dollars. So, always support your local delis in New York City. Last stop of the day, Dollar Slice. It'd be wrong to end the day without a little pizza in New York City. Um, two bros, they've been doing Dollar Slice a long time now. I mean, this wasn't here when I first came to the city, but uh, they, got, they got Dollar slice, Slices all around New York. And um, it's probably the best way for survival in New York City, in my case. And uh, this one's on St. Mark's, St. Mark's in between 2nd and 3rd Avenue. This is one of the main ones I go to, but they're literally all over. I mean, I know there's one in downtown Brooklyn off of Fulton Street, and um, it's just a great survivor kit, man. So they usually do two slices and a, and a soda or a water for three dollars. So let's go in and get a slice. Mexicans making good pizza. Three dollars, please. Three dollars, though. Yeah. So there you go, end the day with a slice of pizza. This is how we eat them in New York. You gotta fold them like that. And uh, you know, it'd be a waste of a day if we didn't get a slice of pizza in New York City. Um, I also have seven dollars left out of the twenty, and uh, it's easy to save money in New York. It's a lot. It's, it's easy to spend money and easy to save money. But the thing is, it's it's easy to spend money because of how much advertisements in your face and how much people are offering things and how easy it is to get things. But it's not hard to save money either, and I just want to show you a few spots how you can save some money. So, um, yeah, if I'm hungry later, maybe I'll get a ramen noodles. That's a dollar at the store, too, or get a little snack before I go to bed. That's seven dollars. Hope you enjoyed this. Mmm. You enjoy the pizza? Bless up. Enjoy.